about 500 feet out, and then 400 feet it detects it's red, and around 300 feet it starts to slow down. Notice the alerts don't say use accelerator to continue. The driver does nothing and the car comes to a stop. But notice the driver did receive an alert to put their hands on the wheel. Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you press that little like button. If you're thinking of buying a Tesla, please use my referral code, Nicholas4590. Tesla is beta testing their full self-driving feature, stopping at traffic lights and stop signs in the US to their early access users. I found some documentation and a video of this new feature, which should eventually roll out to all users. Let's look at the video first and then dig into the documentation. The video starts with the driver already stopped at a light. Notice the red line in front of the car where the Tesla calculated where it should stop. Notice the Tesla has traffic aware cruise control engaged with a 35 mile per hour setting. Also notice the Tesla is displaying an alert, stopped at traffic control, use accelerator or gear stock to continue, which appeared when the Tesla stopped at the light. The light turns green and the driver presses the power pedal to start. The traffic aware cruise control takes over and accelerates the car. Next you will see it detect a green light 300 feet out and it will tell the driver that they must press the accelerator to not stop, which the driver does. So it will stop even at green lights if the driver doesn't react. The car approaches another green light which it detects 400 feet out and this time the driver waits and the Tesla starts slowing down by itself. The driver finally taps the accelerator pedal so the Tesla cruise control takes over again. The same thing happens at another green light. It slows down and the driver presses the power pedal. Now this time the Tesla detects a light 500 feet out and then 400 feet it detects it's red and around 300 feet it starts to slow down. Notice the alerts don't say use accelerator to continue. The driver does nothing and the car comes to a stop. But notice the driver did receive an alert to put their hands on the wheel. The video cuts off here, but I assume the first alert we saw, stopped at traffic control, press accelerator, or gear stock to continue would appear. Also notice the red line in front of the car again, where the Tesla calculated where it should stop. So let's dig into the documentation. The first thing I noticed is that stopping at traffic lights and stop signs uses both the forward facing cameras and GPS to detect the lights, stop signs, and this is interesting, road markings. I wonder what road markings they will be able to detect. Next it says, it will work best on roads that are frequently driven by Tesla vehicles. So I suspect it learns from drivers who have stopped at intersections. It mentions that it's engaged while using nav on autopilot, but I've never been able to engage nav on autopilot on roads with lights and stop signs. Perhaps that's coming. They include the standard warning that it may not work and the driver's responsible. That's not different than uh, all the other full self-driving features of the Tesla. It lists all the things that you must check before using it. First, you must make sure that the forward-facing cameras are unobstructed and calibrated. I wonder if this will have its own calibration set up done automatically when it's first enabled, or if that means you just need to have gone through the normal AP calibration. By the way, I went through the AP calibration again when I had my Hardware 3 hardware installed. Uh, I assume this feature will only work if you have Hardware 3. Next, it says that it's primarily using the forward-facing cameras, but greater accuracy is achieved when you have the most recent map data. It says you can find the map data under Controls Service, I think they meant software, additional vehicle information, but I didn't find that map uh, version in mine here. Perhaps they will add that. Finally, it uh, looks like they'll be adding a toggle uh, to enable this feature under Controls Autopilot. Okay, let's look at uh, how it works. So whenever you're using autopilot cruise control, which includes nav on autopilot, this pop-up message is displayed whenever it detects a traffic light, red, yellow, or green, stop sign, or road marking. As it approaches the stop location, it automatically slows down and displays a red line to indicate where the vehicle will stop. From the video, it appears to display the red line at about 200 feet out. I wonder if this uh, calculates the stop look whether it calculates the stop location from the maps and GPS or from the cameras or both. If you're approaching a green light, you must tap the accelerator pedal or press the gear stock down to continue. Once you do that, the red line 
uh, turns to gray and the Tesla will accelerate to your cruise control. If you're approaching a stop sign or a yellow or red light, the car will stop unless you take over control. If you're approaching a green light and tap the accelerator pedal or press the gear stock down to continue and the traffic light uh, changes to yellow or red before you enter the intersection, the, tas the Tesla will stop. If you're in a turning lane, which the Tesla can detect, the Tesla will stop and must, you must take over control. It lists the following conditions when these actions will be performed. Uh, autopilot or uh, cruise control is engaged. The camera is unobstructed and you have a clear line of sight to the traffic light or stop sign or road marking. The Tesla has acknowledged it recognizes the traffic light by making it bold on the display. This is interesting. A traffic light will not be recognized and displayed as bold if it's on a weird angle or an adjacent lane. It's a little hard to see, but you might notice how the traffic lights are gray when they are first displayed and then go bold, or they stay non-bold if it's a turning lane light. And finally, uh, there must be a red stop location line displayed. It warns us that it might not display the red line always. They give us another important warning that it's always the driver's responsibility. Next, they give us a long list of legalese and scary warnings, like these features will kill you. <laughs> First, you must be prepared to take immediate action. Failure to do so will result in injury or death. This feature stops at green lights and other drivers may not like that. Never assume just because you can see the stop signs or traffic lights that the Tesla can. Uh, they warn us that it might not detect a stop sign or light around uh, steep hills and curves, that makes sense, and always be attentive and use sound judgment. So now it lists the uh, different traffic situations and uh, Tesla's response. Uh, if you're approaching a green light again, you need to tap the power pedal or press the gear shift down uh, after the Tesla displays the red line or the Tesla will stop. If you're approaching a yellow or red light, the Tesla will stop unless you take over control completely. So just tapping the power pedal will not stop, but I assume you can still press the power pedal to accelerate through a yellow light, for example. So if the Tesla has come to a complete stop at a red light, you can simply tap the power pedal to start up and the Tesla will resume autopilot or cruise. If the traffic light changes after you've confirmed you want to proceed, Tesla will stop if it can safely stop before entering the intersection. So the Tesla will not proceed through a yellow or red light if you can stop before the intersection. If there is no stop line detected at a flashing green or yellow light, the Tesla will not slow down. That's the same because the stop line has to be detected for it to stop, but it's unclear if a blinking light uh, changes whether the stop line is detected or displayed. It looks like at a blinking red light, it will first come to a stop and you, and you can tap the power pedal to proceed. Whereas at a normal red light, tapping the power pedal will not uh, start uh, the Tesla. Uh, once the light turns green, you can tap the power pedal to start uh, at a st or red light. So if you have a uh, intersection with no traffic control or a arm of a T intersection, like left or right there, uh, you will, the uh, Tesla will not stop. At a T intersection, it will stop if it detects that it's a T intersection or if there's a stop sign, but there is a warning that it may not be able to detect the uh, T intersection. So stop signs are just like red lights. The Tesla will come to a complete stop uh, at the red line indicator and uh, you can press the power pedal or gear shift down to proceed after the cars come to a complete stop. So it will not start up until it comes to, I guess, zero miles per hour. Uh, also, uh, you, if you have to make a turn at a stop sign, uh, you have to take control to make the turn. There appears to be a lot of limitations where it won't work. Road crossings, keep out zones, toll booths, crosswalk systems, yield signs, temporary traffic lights, perhaps in construction zones and miscellaneous traffic U-turn lights, bicycle pedestrian crossing lights. And then they list a lot of uh, things that will cause it to disengage. Uh, poor visibility, you know, bad weather conditions, bright lights, sunlight interfering with the cameras, 
uh, like on a sunset, uh, camera obstruction, of course, or damaged cameras, not calibrated, uh, driving up uh, uh, or down a hill, so hills and curves. If the uh, traffic light or stop sign is obstructed by trees, uh, or if you're just close to another car in front of you, which could block the camera from seeing the stop sign or uh, traffic. Hey, I wanted everyone to stay safe and uh, maybe contact your family. Uh, we've been using Zoom and doing a lot of uh, video chats with the whole family. It's been a lot of fun. So be safe, everyone. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game, and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.